Hello everyone, my name is Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. We sell RVs, travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes nationwide. So learn a little bit more about us, just go to Google, type in Paul Sherry RVs. There you'll find our website, you'll find our reviews from real customers, uh, and you'll get to know why people are traveling hundreds of miles to do business here at Paul Sherry RVs. Behind me is a really special trailer. This is an all new Forest River Vengeance Rogue floor plan. They call it the 21V. I personally think this is going to be one of the best selling travel trailer toy haulers in the United States this coming year. So I'm gonna flip this around and uh, we'll just show you and see what you think. So this is a travel trailer toy hauler that is under 30 foot in length, which I think is really important. Some of these toy haulers are really long, like almost 40 foot in length, and that just makes it difficult to tow, difficult to get into those hard to get to places. And you need a monster of a truck to tow some of these. This particular one weighs under 7,000 pounds. So depending what you put in the back, you can tow this with many half ton trucks out on the market today. Uh, but yet it doesn't really sacrifice in storage space and, and, and sleeping space and all that. So let's just jump right into it. This is the, again, the all new Rogue Edition provided by Forest River Vengeance comes with the aerodynamic front end here. This is aluminum wrapped metal here uh, that really uh, is going to be a lot stronger than what companies typically use on the front end of their campers, which is fiberglass. So uh, the metal is going to uh, protect the front end of this a lot better than a fiberglass type material. And then down here in the bottom quarter is going to be uh, actual diamond plate rock guard. So uh, I have to be careful sometimes when I talk about the front end of these. So some of them have diamond plate, but it's just plastic. Uh, just that looks like diamond plate, but this is actual diamond plate. Uh, two propane bottles up front here. Those are 20 pounders. Uh, we put a brand new battery on it and we fill your propane and we do the dealer prep at exactly no charge to you. So we have a slide on this side of the RV. That's actually a bed slide. It really opens it up nicely. Uh, this particular Vengeance is equipped with the gel coat fiberglass exterior sidewalls. Uh, now gel coat is a, is a process that they do to the fiberglass that basically puts a nice thick clear coat over the fiberglass. So therefore you don't see the individual fibers. And it's more important than not just seeing the individual fibers. It gives it a nice sheen and it allows the camper to be cleaned so much easier than the, the fiberglass sidewalls that don't have this gel coat two axles on this they have really nice alloy wheels as you can see here and then in this compartment up here this can be used as storage as how we have it have as as it is now but this is actually prepped for an own end generator so the fuel line and power lines are already there uh, outside shower with hot and cold water is behind this panel and water heater is right behind that panel there is a spray port here as well uh, so you can hook up the hose to that and spray off your toys uh, maybe you have a dirt bike or four-wheeler and get them a little dirty you can clean them off there this is a black tank flush so that'll clean out your toilet tank and then your water fill here and furnace exhale here Coming back to the rear, I wanted to show you this. So a lot of times on toy haulers, the ramp approach is at such a steep angle, it makes it very difficult to get certain types of toys inside. This particular Vengeance, if you notice here, I'm sitting pretty level. I'm slightly high in the front, but not, not extremely. I could raise it up even more in the front to make this even less of a uh, incline here so less of an approach but I just want to show you that approach it's a nice easy approach the ramp door itself has a nice uh, slip resistant material over it and then this does have the patio system on it which are these uh, gates that we see here so uh, you can hook up the airplane cables to this ramp door and then this is going to create an extra space with those patio gate doors if you aren't sure of that just watch some of my other videos i generally have it set up that way but this particular time i wanted to show you that ramp approach up top here in the rear we have a couple things we have a really cool led spotlight and it's prepped for a back uh, up vision monitor it does have the power awning which i have out just part way and also it has the blue led strip underneath the power awning 
has exterior speakers. There's actually two of them and also an exterior spot to hang a television. I like that it comes with a mount from the factory. Uh, I've seen many times where customers will put an aftermarket mount on their camper and generally they have metal parts into it. This is all a, a you know, a plastic type of material so it's not going to rust on you. And just being factory installed, it looks better and it's you know not going to leak. Uh, if I would poke holes in the side wall this myself, I would say it would probably leak. Audio, visual, and uh, coaxial cable there for your roof antenna. Power there. Uh, we have a latch here for your pet. And then I do want to show you this giant storage compartment up front here. It's really tall. So you can put some nice big things in there. I'd say three foot deep for your uh, idea because I know the camera's kind of hard to show that sometimes. Coming into the trailer, uh, a couple of cool things. This won a lot of awards this past year, the Rogue did. Uh, also, all four Shriver products are uh, combining with KOA campgrounds, which are doing a big effort in fighting cancer, particularly in kids. Uh, so I was like a purpose bigger than uh, RVs in general, and Forest River is doing that, which I'm excited. When you purchase their products, you're part of that as well. Again, this is the 21B. All right, so we'll start back here in the garage, because really, that's what this, that's what this trailer is all about. So in the garage, we have two couches. I have one set up. And then um, above that, we have the new bed mechanism, which I want to show you that today. And I think I'll be able to. I'll set my camera down. And hopefully we'll catch that. Uh, again, the, the gate is shut. It'll just swing open just with the removing of a couple of Velcro clips. Uh, there's a lot of tie downs here. There's three, six, seven, eight. And then there's two at my feet. So a total of 10 tie downs. Uh, lengthwise here so first off width uh, from back here so from this wall to that wall eight foot uh, now we do have this cabinet in here and that cabinet comes in so we're doing a measurement here sorry we're doing a measurement here from the rear wall up to this cabinet and we are going to be uh, 102 101 inches so eight and a half foot uh, and then coming down the tape measure all the way to the front, uh, we are just pretty much dead on 15 foot of storage. So you can fit quite a bit of stuff in this trailer, even though it's a little bit shorter. All right, uh, bed system. I'm going to see if I can set this down and, and demonstrate that. I'm going to have to first put down this other couch and let me back up a little bit here. Okay. I don't know if this will capture all of it, but I think you'll be able to get the gist. So I'm going to put down the other couch, and then I'm going to put down the bed that comes down from the ceiling. It's all mechanical on this. No power, which I really like. The power stuff's really slow. Okay, I thought as I was doing that, Mike, you're going to make yourself look like a buffoon. This thing's going to hit you in your head. But no, I figured it out. So it's very simple to do. You just pull down on the rear and then the front first. Uh, they've had this system in the past. I, I, I used to sell a travel trailer that had a similar system to this, and it, it really didn't work too well because you could do it wrong. This system, they perfected. There's no wrong way to do it. As you saw, I tried to pull on the wrong end first. It wouldn't even let me. Uh, so that's really nice. So you don't get this bed in a bind. Uh, so I can really appreciate that. And me personally, I like this better than the Happy Jack system. Hands down, it's a better system. Uh, the gauchos, the top will roll over to one big bed uh, down here. Show you that here. So two big beds in the rear of this trailer for extra sleeping. I uh, also have the screen tent wall that rolls down. Uh, these black mats on the wall here are actually covering up windows, so you can undo those to let some natural light in. 
Uh, this does have some ventilation in the sidewalls here. There's one on this sidewall and one on the other to get some ventilation when you're going down the road. All right, onto the RV stuff. Kitchen is really cool. So all new wood color for this year. Uh, has the new stainless black sink and new stainless black faucet uh, are the upgrades for this 2020 and a half. Also in the 2020 and a half, they have the new Furion 10 cubic foot refrigerator. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. It's the freezer up top there, refrigerator down below here. Uh, the black LP oven and range top here is all new as well matches the appliances very nicely uh, it has the sink cover as you can see here get this off here so a big single basin sink i really appreciate that what's cool about the single basin sink is you can actually get your pots and pans in there all right uh coming up here we have the entertainment system here tv's going to hang right on that bracket just like it would on the outside uh and then down here it does have a radio uh this is a furion bluetooth ready radio that has hdmi port usb port and auxiliary port uh so we have two entrance ways here both have pocket doors to separate them off i've got the pocket doors open uh, but to our right here is going to be the bathroom uh, the bathroom is a dual entry bathroom so it has the big shower the tub surround your sink here and then the stool off here to the left uh, through that door is your bedroom again pocket door to separate it off for privacy but you can also get to the bedroom right here so the bedroom is going to feature a really nice big bed uh, it's queen bed you can walk around all sides of it very easily uh, it has a really comfortable mattress on it as well I was feeling it it feels really nice and then we have a little bit of a storage compartment up top here and some storage cabinets down below here as well. Okay, so that is this new Force River Vengeance 21V. So let us know what you think. I'll post links below that has the current pricing availability of this particular trailer, along with some other Vengeances. So make sure you check out those. Maybe this one's not for you. They've got a whole slew of other ones, and uh, they're really, really great value. So make sure you check those out. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you want to subscribe to our channel, see what's new, what's cool, and uh, maybe take a look at this face every now and then. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.